Audio Jungle. <laughs> Hi, this is Feed Clip Your Elements, and here let me show you how to customize this template. So there are two assets available in this template. You can use the long or the short version that works best for you. So let's use this one for instance. Alright, at first you can see this icon at the top left corner and you can replace it with your logo. So just find your logo, then drag and drop it directly into this box that will replace all of the available icons from the start to the end. Below of this, you can type in the brand name or your YouTube channel if you're gonna use this for it. Next, you can change the color of this white pink line which is switching from the color A to B or white to blue in this example. Next, the flashing lights A and B and then the color of the background. Alright, for the next one, you can open up this assets group, slides composition and then you can find the group called slide 1 to 10 to edit the text number and insert the photo. So just click on each of the slides then customize them in the properties panel. Now to change the color of this photo background, you can open up the slide group, click on this tiny triangle at this placeholder background group, then click on the effect and then you can change its color like this. After that, you will apply the same color to all of the next slides by right clicking this effect and then copying this selected effect. Back to the slides composition, open the next slide. Right click on the placeholder background group, then paste the effect that will replace the old color automatically with your new one. Then please do this for the next slide as well. Alright for the next one, if we go back to the second slide and you see the logo and the text have some space like this, that is because the text or the brand name is shorter than before. So to customize it, you can open up this slide group, logo text, then move the logo to the right before the brand name. Or if your text is longer than before, then you can move the logo to the left if it's overlapping. After that, you can copy this logo text back to the slides composition, open up slide 4 then replace its logo text with the new one by deleting it then paste it like this back to the slides composition and you can do the same thing for the rest of the slides which are slides 6 8 and 10 all right after that you can customize the last slide as well for closing this countdown so that's it i hope you got the idea but if you still have any questions, please contact me via email. So thank you so much and as always, good luck with your project.